Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your dual zone automatic climate control in the all new 2023 Kia Sportage. I have in front of me here an X-Line Limited all wheel drive in Vesta Blue. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, we're gonna head into the control center here underneath the 12.3 inch infotainment screen. And right now we happen to be on the media controls. So we're gonna go ahead and push the button here to change it over to the climate controls. Right now the climate control is off. So if I go ahead and push the power button, you're gonna see it's gonna give us our temperatures and tell us what our fan speed is at. And you can hit either the big fan or the little fan to adjust how fast or slow you want the uh, fan to go. You have your two temperature knobs, one for the driver's side and one for the passenger side. When sync is on, if I go and twist the driver's knob, you're gonna see both of the temperatures are gonna change together. If I were to either push sync to turn it off or even just use the passenger side knob, it'll go ahead and turn that off, uh, sync off, and then that way I can change the temperature just on the passenger side. If I were to go ahead and push sync again, it will then sync that back to the driver's side temperature and now the driver's side knob is in charge. You have your front and rear defroster dedicated buttons. Your rear defroster does include the side mirrors, so don't forget about that heated side mirrors, but linked with the rear defroster. We also have our auto climate button. And in this one, what they've got is if I were to go ahead and press it, we have three different levels of auto. So right now I turned it on and it happens to be on the medium level. So it will only bring the fan speed up to a medium setting in order to get the cabin to reach the temperature that we've told it to. So if we happen to set this, let's leave it at 25. Let's say it's colder outside, it's only 10 degrees outside. Well, what it'll do is if somebody goes and opens a door, rolls down a window, um, and it gets cooler inside the cabin, then the fan will go ahead and move the speed up to medium to get the cabin to reach that temperature. Now, it might take a little bit longer if you don't have it on full, but the advantage of that is you don't have the fan blowing at the absolute highest, fastest speed, because not everybody's a fan of that. <laughs> so you can change what level you want between medium, low, and you can still put it on high as well. You just keep pushing the button and it cycles through. And if you don't want it to be on auto, you can just go ahead and hit the fan speed buttons and it turns auto off. And now you're in control of how fast you want the fan speed to go. Over here to the right of the big fan button, we have our mode button. So this is gonna be where you can cycle through where you want the air to come from. And you just keep hitting it to cycle through till you get to your preference. We do also have a heated windshield button in here as well. So there's a little elements that are all throughout the windshield. So you can go ahead and heat that up and it will heat up the entire windshield. When you have the temperature set down to a lower setting, the air conditioning will automatically come on. And if you want it at the coldest air conditioning possible, you just make sure everything's set to low like it is now with the air conditioning running. And again, you can control how fast or slow you want the fan speed to be. One thing I forgot to mention in the in another video I've got, if you were to press and hold in the center here, it's gonna ask you which of these you wanna have as your preference um, to be on there all the time. So you can set it to climate if you adjust the climate settings enough. So if I were to switch it back to the media, we'll just give it a second or two, let's say I was done with that, it's then gonna flip back to the climate controls and you can have it go the other way around as well. And this will also auto dehumidify and auto defog as it needs to. And if you don't want the climate control running at all, right now it says power, you just go ahead and push that and it's gonna turn it off. And that's how you do it. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing if you're enjoying our content. Also, all of our social media links are in the description below. Thanks, guys.